Hi, I'm Steve Stepp. Proud to show you my new creation, the Hydrostep. Most efficient flats boat on the market. Performance boat, gas efficiency, the ultimate flats boat for saltwater fishing. Some of the features on this is the concave chine that creates a wave that when you run across a wave, it shuts the wave down instead of throwing it out. So it's a lot less uh, chances of you getting wet. The bottom has a 14 degree dead rise in it. That gives you a much softer ride. So if you got to get across the uh, rough water, going from one place to fish to the next place, it gives you a much softer ride, but it's also got a pad design. And the pad design is uh, something I've been racing for years and years and years. And um, back in, in 62, started boat racing. So I've got 57 years of high performance boat experience behind me. We've uh, originally started the Velocity Pirate Boats in 1976, responsible for 14 world speed records, offshore and inshore. And uh, Velocity's won eight world championships, seven national championships. So we know a little bit about high performance. Matter of fact, quite a bit. And this is a good example of what put all that expertise in a fishing boat. And a lot of people say, well, you don't need all that in a fishing boat. Well, this is so efficient we get like four to five percent prop efficiency in the boat, but we also get gas mileage at 30 miles an hour, two people in this boat with a 115, you can go 10 miles on a gallon of gas. On the construction of this boat, I spent a lot of time designing different panels in different areas of the boat to where you could make the panel lighter, but also make it strong, just like a car is. A curve stronger than a flat area. But the construction of this boat is very high tech. It's a system that uh, we use just strictly to build this fishing boat out of. Where a lot of people are using different types of methods, we're using the method that's proven fact that set world speed records in offshore. It is constructed out of Kevlar, carbon fiber, and vinyl ester resin. Anywhere you see the, the uh, boat inside, and you see the black is carbon fiber, solid carbon fiber, and the Kevlar, of course, gives us the strength, the carbon fiber gives us the stiffness, but it, it's all foam cord, three quarter inch foam core all throughout the boat. But it gives you a super light construction, but it also gives you a super strong construction. The hull and deck is fully glassed together, just like we do on an offshore boat. Every uh, attachment that's put on the boat is through bolted with fender washers, lock nuts, all stainless steel. And it all boils down to the boat before we start rigging it. Hull and deck only runs 700 pounds. The overall dimensions of this boat, it's 94 inches wide, almost eight foot. That gives a lot of stability. And to, from the transom to the nose is 18 foot, and the sponson gives it another foot. But that gives you a good wide platform and a stable platform. All right, as we move down the side of the boat, some of the features that uh, I've designed into this, like on the side, you've got a feature line. Well, that feature line makes the side of the boat stronger, so you can go lighter materials and still give the strength to it but also concave chine that starts in the front gets larger as it goes back. So it changes in size and angle as it goes all the way to the stern. At the stern, one of the main features I designed on this where a lot of people want to get in shallow water. And usually you have two fishermen, sometimes on this boat you can have four fishermen, but normally two, and one person stand up on a polling platform and with whatever size motor you got on it, we go up to 150, this is a 115. So, design feature I put in this is put a sponson on the rear of it to help float the back of the boat. Besides the width of the boat, all relates to it'll float like 10 inches of water with two people and fuel, which is a good amount of uh, a distribution of weight so you floats higher out of the water, plus it gives you a lot more stability from walking from side to side or if two people or four people gets on the side of the boat, it doesn't tilt that much. But the sponsons also, I've got them positioned to where when you go to get on plane, they act like uh, hydraulic cavitation plates, or afterplaners, or trim tabs, whatever you want to call them. But these are stationary, so it, they act like that. As soon as the bow starts up, they're pushing the boat back down. So that's the main feature that gives us the ability to get on plane real quick, two to three seconds, boat's on plane. But also, the boat will run like 12 to 13 miles an hour with two people sitting in the back. It'll run on plane. So a lot of times you want to check out a fishing spot, but you don't want to be run fast, you want to run slow, but still be on plane. This design capability gives you that capability. Then we go into, we put a jack plate on, it's standard equipment on the boat. Polling platform is, is standard. Some people want them, some people don't. Depends on if you use a trolling motor, but either way we offer that option. 
Every feature of this boat is designed for a purpose. Even the console, we tilt the console back to give it less wind resistance. We curve this to make it lighter and less wind resistance. We raise this part up <clears throat> to where you can, you got more wind protection and we even offer a windshield, even a sliding windshield. They give you even more protection. But then the height of the dashboard itself is big enough for like this is a 12 inch screen here, but you could put two nines on there, there's enough room. But we also make this area where you can put your telephones because you always got stuff <clears throat> hanging around or pliers or whatever. So you got a place to put them. Then we also, as standard equipment, put a USB port. So you can lay your phone up here all the time. It's accessible and you can charge it up at the same time. The steering system we use is a high drive steering system. Bob Young is the manufacturer of this. It's a super high quality steering. Our standard steering system is capable for a 300 horsepower motor. We don't allow 300 horsepower motors on the boat because a 115 or 150 runs plenty fast. We also put a standard equipment of Lavorsi throttles and shifts, a separate shift from the throttle. And we have trim buttons on the throttle button so that you can operate your jack plate or your trim on your motor just with your thumb while you're throttling. It makes it very convenient. That's a feature we learned in offshore racing for years and years and years and, and used it and it just works absolutely the best. But the ergonomics of the location of the steering wheel, the throttles, all that is design featured through years and years of uh, performance boats and race boats to make it comfortable and to make it safe. Like even the seat, we designed it not just a flat straight seat across, but we designed like it, it's in a bucket so it keeps you more position. You don't, you're not as apt to slide from side to side going around the turn. Makes you feel much safer, makes you feel more comfortable. And when you run across that rough water, choppy water, it's a lot more comfortable to be able to do that. And you're more rested and you can catch more fish when you get there. Some of the main features on this uh, fishing boat is we have two lab wheels, one in the front, one in the back. Both of them are insulated. Both of them are approximately 30 gallons of water each. We also have circulating systems that where you can circulate the water that's in the system or you can pick up water from the outside and it'll automatically overflow and flow out. And it's got an aeration system when it sprays the water and a directional spray in the bait well. So it's good bait well, uh, fish well, whatever you want to use it for, but it's going to keep your bait or your fish alive. We also have uh, backrest that's available that folds down. We have uh, three large storage compartments, one on this side, one on the other side, and they're big enough to get in if you want to. We've got a large uh, storage compartment up in the front area that has a tackle center in it where you can put your uh, bait tackle in your plastic trays all lined up. Underneath the gunnels, we have 13 foot or 13 inch gunnel with hand holes conveniently located for the passengers and the driver. But under the gunnels, we have four rod holders on each side. Each one of those rods holders is capable of a 13 foot fly rod. So if you've got a long rod and you like to fish and you want to take it apart, you can hold eight 13 foot uh, fly rods under the gunnel, all protected. One of our options that we offer is a, you can get as elaborate stereo system as you want. We use a very high-end uh, speaker system called Blue A, and it's equal to any other high-end speaker system out there. But you can actually turn it up and be running wide open and still listen to beautiful music while you're going fishing. Call me and we can get started on custom building your hydrostep today.